Do you know those days when everything goes sideways? Yeah, I just saw. This is one of them. We arrived yesterday pretty late here. We were desperately searching for a camping spot. We were both tired, but like in the night, because um, we are next to like a gravel road, several cars passed by and all of them stopped and wanted us to sleep at their house, invited us to come over and it's like we were just so tired we wanted to stay and just sleep and I had like uh, three times a discussion of half an hour to um, stay here or to go to the house. They were all really really nice, really really nice people um, really appreciate meeting them, but uh, I was really tired as well. And the first group that stopped here, suddenly a scorpion moved out underneath the car and they were like, whoa! And uh, yeah, sadly he took a stone and smashed the scorpion. <laughs> uh, kind of feel sad for the scorpion. Without us he would still survive. Next we are going back towards Ava to try to fix the shower. We wanted to shower and put a bit of pressure and the shower just completely broke here. Like three quarters are broken of this of this lead. The day started smooth, but it didn't take long until the first problems occurred. The exhaust temperature was way too high. We just stopped by because the temperature was super high, still is super high, we don't know why. We're going uphill, but still we stopped and the temperature doesn't go down. Yeah, and now I start feeling something. It's like I stood up and I was feeling something, like something is inside my pants. You see that spider? I had that spider in! I'll check the air filter and see if it cleaning it makes a difference. In the end we never figured out what the problem was. But I believe the gauge has an issue, not the engine. We are trying to find a hardware store or a plumbing uh, shop because we yeah, want to repair or do a new shower tube or pipe. Uh, we went to a store but they had really small ones so we need to go to a big market to find what we need. There's like roads right, for right, each right, section, right. we're in plumbing section. We are here in Toro 25, they are trying to help us get what we need, it's pretty difficult so I'm trying to figure out a, a way to do it and it's like, this is the flat one there is and which is bad because it has this separation and we cannot fit the other part to fix the, the valve so we're just trying to find another way of doing it and this is what we have right now, like a straight one but it's bad because the water would not go completely out, so only half of it. So we need one that goes down. So we, we need one of those elbows first. We found this piece that actually goes with another cap that can go into the shower. We want to machine turn this part here and now so we can fit the end of the thread here and just attach it with the, um, with the washer on this side. But things went out of hand pretty quick. 
just had an accident. Like we were going to turn to right and then they just... We have insurance, yeah. They just went into our car. Spare wheel car is completely bended. Um, but their car is just completely gone. And the problem is that the car is from Dubai. It lost all the coolant so they cannot drive anymore. This is bended, so the tire actually collides here with the door. And we are trying to see if it's, this would be possible to bend back, because that would be the easiest. There's a risk of um, needing a new one. In that case, yeah, we will lose a lot of money because we were negotiating with them because it's impossible uh, to do this officially. And yeah, we might get only 100 euros for this. So hope we can fix it with a hammer. We're going to put it the other way so at least it doesn't touch the door. One nut? Yep. Deal. Yeah. For once, the X-Tex barrel carrier, that's massive. Like, look at that steel. That saved us in not needing a new door. If you look at the other car, you yeah. can see how much it can take. So how did the accident happen? We wanted to turn to the right, so we went into the right lane and we had to brake suddenly. And then the car behind us, uh, that was on the right lane, just hit, hit us like hard. The first shock was, okay, we were out, the car was losing, the car that hit us was losing coolant. And then suddenly just, um, the guy is super young, he said, yeah, uh, the car is from Dubai and I don't have a license. So it's really nonsense to call the police, it would create more problems, we agreed. Um, because they don't have any insurance, um, even even though they could, but they don't have one. So they could not pay uh, through the insurance, so we had to uh, find um, yeah, a price that it will suit both of us. Guy said, um, and the door is uh, okay, and and so on. Uh, anyway, we are okay. Um, Kai didn't nearly feel it. I felt it and I have a bit of back pain, but I guess it's just a matter of a couple of days and I will be 100% in shape, so. And it could be worse, that's what Kai says, it could be, it could have been that the, the door was completely damaged. That would be really a disaster. Um, so we are grateful that it was just that. Now that we're here, we just am parked in front of the hairdresser and then he's just going to get his hair haircut. Looks perfect. Hi. <laughs> yes, we are back here and we got the last uh, parts that we, we needed, including the elbows and also the cup. We still need to get the pipe 
and the glue so we can finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can go, you can go in. You can go in. <laughs> <laughs> we are going back to the same spot in the mountains above Baba. Um, it's the easiest. It was pretty private at night and it's really cool at night. So we can rest finally really good um, and have the energy for tomorrow. After a windy night, our neighbors were already looking for trouble early in the morning. I was having breakfast and I just saw like a small pool on the floor. And that's pretty fresh. I thought it was oil, but Kai was checking and it's cooled. Just adjust it or like move the clam a little bit, but I don't like them. I just doubt that they are tight always. So it's the fuel. It's the connector of the fuel cooler. Fuel cooler. Sorry, coolant. No. I put a second hose clamp there. I don't want to remove the first one because that means taking the hose off and losing coolant. Um, that's why I just put one next to it. I know it's not the best, but that's how it is right now. They are eating the rest of the mango that I got today. So tasty, eh? Oh my god, they are all coming here. What the fuck? Guy? This is how the world ends. <laughs> We're still driving. Um, it's pretty late. We just passed a checkpoint, and first they ask like the for the passport. Then realize it's difficult. We have it in the safe. So yeah, they say like yeah, then go on. It's like wait, wait, take some something from us. Like no, no, we don't need anything. It's like. If you're in Saudi, if you want to avoid plastic, it's impossible. Like, you cannot say no in those cases. So, we have water now. There you are. 
I always say that every time I go out with my headlamp, I see eyes because I always check and I always see uh, like animals. This time was Kai. We were sleeping next to the road today. Yesterday we came pretty late uh, to our camp spot. We were really, really tired uh, and went to bed like right away. Today uh, we need to drive uh, directly to Taif and uh, get and meet Rory. Two challenging days went by. We are glad we received lots of support from all sides and nothing bad happened. Our next stop will be at Rory's. Where we have the time to sit back and relax, take care of a couple of things and enjoy his great company while he takes us out in his FJs.